The quantum cube, or black box, is a concept familiar not only to engineers, but also to philosophers, writers, and of course, physicists. In science, it is not just an object locked and hidden behind seven seals, but rather a metaphor that symbolizes a system or process that is difficult or impossible to observe in detail, but the results of its work can be understood. Imagine, you have a box. You don't know what's in it, but you can observe how it affects the world around you as if there was something fragrant or not so fragrant in there. If you try to find an analogy in modern physics, then a black box is a quantum system that cannot be directly studied, but the results of its existence are manifested through measurements. Now let's forget about traditional black boxes and move into the realm of quantum physics, where a similar box has the ability to question the very basis of our perception of reality. Imagine a situation where you look at a mysterious cube as if it were a portal that hides all the complexity of the inner world, and you, like a curious spectator, can only observe its output data. One result, one signal, one flash of light. If we apply this metaphor to quantum physics, then the black box becomes a symbol of an unknown measurement process when the system is in a state of superposition until the moment of observation, and you, opening it, record only one of many possible outcomes. But what if this apparent randomness hides not just the inaccessibility of internal mechanisms, but a whole ensemble of alternative realities where each possibility is realized simultaneously? This is where the theory of parallel universes, or as adherents of the many worlds interpretation prefer to call it the Everett multiverse, comes to the rescue. In this world, the quantum process is not just a random choice, but a process in which the black box, like a treasure trove of secrets, does not close completely. But when measured, its contents disintegrate into many branches. Each branch is a separate universe in which one of the possible outcomes was realized. When you press the measurement button, you see only one of these outcomes, like the result of a fraudulent machine that gives out one coin, while all the other coins are hidden from our view, but continue to exist in parallel realities, remaining inaccessible to our eyes. This is why, even if you are absolutely sure that behind the closed door there is one specific logic, the universe decides to preserve all its complexity, dividing the results between countless options. Modern experimental data, obtained from studying interference patterns in experiments with electrons and photons, confirm that, until the moment of measurement, the system really does behave as a single whole, possessing properties that cannot be simply reduced to classical ideas about particles or waves. If we look at it from the point of view of the many worlds interpretation, then it is at the moment of measurement that a splitting of reality occurs, as if you had launched a quantum automaton, where each possible combination of events receives its own separate measurable embodiment in a parallel world. Thus, the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics is based on the mathematical continuity of the superposition of states, which, due to unitary evolution and the process of decoherence, allows a quantum system to branch into many independent variants. Each of these variants is perceived in a separate branch or parallel world, where the observer records one specific result. But let's imagine one radical hypothesis. What if the so-called black box in physics turned out to be not just a mysterious mechanism, but a full-fledged teleporter? How deep does this rabbit hole go, and what awaits us on the other side of quantum madness? It could be anything. Welcome to the most insidious place among alternative realities. This world is 99% similar to ours, but that 1% can drive you crazy. For example, in this world, physicists proved the existence of ether, and Einstein worked as an accountant all his life, or Plato did not philosophize but opened a chain of fast food cafes called perfect taste in the world of ideas. Scientifically, this can be explained through the multiverse model. If our reality is governed by quantum laws, then at each point, many decisions are made, creating new realities with minor changes. This effect is known as quantum branching, popularized by Hugh Everett's Many Worlds Interpretation. 
But there are problems in this world. You know something is wrong, but you can't prove it. For example, you remember that the word horizon has always been written with one R, but everyone around you insists that there have always been two. Or perhaps gravity works differently in this world, but new open algorithms show that you are wrong. Once you get into this world, there is a chance that you yourself will become part of it and stop noticing anomalies. Perhaps you are already there. World 2, where you are the only person. You exit the black box and silence. There are cars, but they don't drive. Houses are parked, but there are no signs of life. Phones are on, but there is only a message everywhere. Subscriber is out of coverage area. This scenario can be explained through the observer hypothesis in quantum mechanics. If consciousness influences the state of reality, which is what some interpretations of quantum mechanics claim, for example, John von Neumann's version, then you can be in a reality where you are the only consciousness recording this world. Another option is the simulation hypothesis. Perhaps you simply woke up at the moment when the operators decided to do maintenance and forgot to load the NPC. Or it's simpler. You ended up in a world where humanity disappeared a second before you appeared. How, you'll never know. As a result, in a couple of weeks, you'll start talking to the coffee maker. In a month, the coffee maker will start responding. World 3, where time goes backwards. You exit the cube and watch a fascinating spectacle. Tea is sucked back into the mug, birds fly backwards, and a street musician earns money by handing it out to passers-by. Congratulations, you have entered a world where entropy moves backwards. In classical physics, time is considered a unidirectional process, the so-called arrow of time, but in quantum mechanics the equations work the same forward and backward. This gives us the theoretical possibility of the existence of realities where the past replaces the future. By the way, it's interesting how biological processes work here. If your body is not adapted to this world, you might start getting younger until you turn into a baby and then disappear as a cloud of energy. The main question is how to get out of this world. If you try to return to the cube of quantum worlds, it will already be disassembled into atoms because you haven't appeared in it yet. And that's sad. World 4, where you are no longer you. Everything seems normal. People around you greet you by name, but there is a shadow of bewilderment in their eyes, as if something is wrong. In the mirror, you are met by a face that is... not yours. The scientific explanation? Another state of quantum superposition. Perhaps your consciousness has migrated into the body of another version of you, but your brain hasn't fully adapted yet. Or, you're not human at all. For example, you have an extra pair of arms that feel normal. You don't talk, but exchange thoughts telepathically. You have no idea what you're eating, but you like it. Over time, you can integrate into this world. The problem is that the real version may return one day and not appreciate your presence. If there is a government in this world that controls the identity of individuals, then you are already wanted. World number five, where you have already been, but not alone. You leave the cube and feel deja vu. Everything seems familiar, but after a few minutes you realize that you have already seen this world, and then you appear on the horizon. This scenario is possible if the teleport does not destroy the original, but creates a copy. That is, each time you use the black box, you leave behind a new version of yourself in each universe you pass. What is this version of you doing? Maybe she is scared and doesn't understand what you are doing in her world. Maybe she greets you and gives you bread and salt or takes out a weapon. If there are too many of them, maybe there is already a war going on between your copies in this world. Sooner or later, a version of you will appear that decides that the other versions are a threat. Yes, quantum teleportation seems like fun, but only if you have nerves of steel and are not attached to a single version of reality. However, it seems like the scariest thing is to get into a world where nothing has changed, but you are not sure. To meet yourself and understand that it is not you, 
and to realize that you have been in one of these worlds for a long time and have simply gotten used to it. So, when you enter a black box, remember one thing. You can get out. But whether you got out is another question. And of course, let's not forget about the side effects. What if teleportation works through the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics? Then every time you decide to step into that mysterious black box, a new universe is created where you arrive at your destination. But in the old version of reality, you simply do not exist. Imagine millions of worlds where you either successfully teleported or unsuccessfully. Perhaps the only thing that stands between us and mass teleportation is the fear of technical errors. A bug in the software and you arrive on Mars without skin, or with extra eyes, or worse, with your consciousness torn between two realities. One thing is for sure, if we have a working teleporter, insurance companies will have the scariest time in their history. So if you are ever asked to step into the cube of quantum worlds, think twice. In the best case, you will find yourself in another place instantly. In the worst case, in another place, but no longer you. And in the worst case, there will be not only you there, but also a couple of your copies, one of which is very unfriendly. Quantum physics does not forgive mistakes, but it provides an unlimited field for experiments and ideas for fantasies. And who knows, maybe you will be the first person to risk going into the worlds of quantum multiverses. And although these are just mind games, it is safe to say that the hidden structure of the universe that we are trying to understand is only partially accessible to our senses and instruments. We see the results without seeing the process. Ultimately, the quantum cube in the context of quantum physics is a metaphor for how science confronts a reality that is inaccessible to us, but affects what we can observe. Each new experiment, each new discovery only complicates the picture but just like quantum mechanics, science has taught us to appreciate the fact that we can observe and analyze without fully understanding what lies behind these observations.